Godmother, you are not helping this matter at all. Uh, how do you mean? I mean, you know my son loves your granddaughter. Eh? He's even ready to marry her today. Eh? Why don't you try and convince Fowler to at least give him a chance? Oh, you, you're just talking like I'm the one he's getting married to. I know you are not the one he wants to get married to, but at least try and convince Viola. I know she listens to you. Eh? Or you don't want our friendship to extend beyond us. Uh, of course I want the ex uh, friendship to extend. Um, I don't know why you're acting like you're not cool with it. No, why are you saying this? If I tell you how far I've gone trying to convince her, you won't believe it. Are you know children of today? They have a mind of their own. Besides, Viola already has a man, her partner that she's madly in love with. And she's not listening to anyone because uh, what she feels for that guy is undescribable. But um, it, it, what hurts me the most is that every time I try to convince her uh, about something, she gets upset and then she believes that I don't want her to stay in my house anymore. And you know that is not good enough. Hey. So what are you advising me to do? Because my son says it's her or no one else. Well, maybe you should try and talk to her yourself. You'll probably do a better job than your son. But if I may advise, she says she doesn't like very skinny people. So maybe, ah, maybe God you mother, get leave your... that one, leave that one. When they marry now, ah, you know how it is well, now. If you've not been able to do something yourself, why, why, why leave it to my daughter? Just, uh, okay, I will talk to that. <sighs> My dear, so, what are you saying? Is it that my son is not handsome enough or there is something you don't like about him? With all due respect, ma, there's no such thing. Your son is very handsome, and a lot of women would die just to have him. But my heart belongs to another. <laughs> you see, my dear, listen, let me be sincere to you. I am not talking to favor my son now, but I have to tell you the truth as a woman. It is not good for us to put our eggs in one basket. Mm -mm. It's not good. It's not good to tie all your hope in one person. I mean, give my son a chance. You never can tell. He might be the one for you. My son is ready here and now to marry you. Today, 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 he's ready. Instead of uh, waiting for that man that has been wasting your time all this while. With your exposure, ma'am. I know you understand when a man and a woman are in a committed relationship. I have nothing against your son, but he came rather too late. I will not double date on my man because he's not ready. I know he will be. I want it to happen, but I also want it to happen when he is ready. If you don't mind, I was busy in the room when you called. I'd like to go back to that now. Sorry, ma'am. I told you, there is no way I can convince her to change her mind. But I'm impressed. She is a complete woman. A woman who knows her worth. I know. Godmother, I want her to be my daughter-in-law. Ah, well, <laughs> there's still a possibility, who knows. Just follow her gradually. She might decide to change her mind sooner than you think. Abby? Yes. All right. Hmm. I'll do just that. Um, I have to go. Cool. 
Hi, already. But make sure you come back and soon. Hey, but this is my second home. Uh, you know I have okay. to be here. All right. I will be coming. Okay. You do take care of yourself. I will, and you drive safe. All right? I will. All right. Okay. Take care. My love to Samson. Bye. Hey, it's not so cold. I've not had light for the past two days. This. Get this beer. This is not my problem. I came to discuss something else with you. Well, if it's about the Igwe and the political structure of Aki, I am not interested. I am not here to discuss politics with you. Hmm? What is going on between you and Viola? And did I tell you or any other person that I had a problem with Viola? If you don't have any problem with her, if nothing is going on, why haven't you paid that bright price? What are you waiting for? Okay. You're waiting for another person to come and show interest before you wake up. Another person? And I'm guessing that person is you. What do you mean by you? Wait, wait. Are you trying to say that I cannot get her if I want to? My friend, just take your drink. Don't, don't insult me. Just enjoy your drink and let's forget about all this. In fact, I'm not even seeing anything again. I'm not telling you anything again. Tell me about the man that's coming for a hand in marriage. You think I don't know about that? Well, let me tell you something I know. He's wasting his time. Oh, is that what you think? Of course. You're so confident that I will not succeed. Never. Okay, let's watch how, how this whole thing will turn out. Don't say I did not tell you, I did not warn you. Drink your beer. I'm not confident. This is what I know. Hmm? Just take your drink. If you want another one, I'll bring you another one. I know. This hmm? is your hot beer. Man. Forget about me and Viola for now. Mm -hmm. Let us fight our fight in peace. Trust me. Nobody can come between I and Viola. I like this your confidence level, Sha. I'm not confident. I'm sure about it. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Hmm? Son, whoever the man in her life is, he must have laid a strong footprint in that family. Why do you say so? Can't you see it? She's so adamant in giving us a chance. I guess there is true love in their relationship. But if I try one more time and it doesn't work, I will let her be. Um, yes, you are right. Just that I wanted things to work for both of you. I never knew she was already engaged. How, I mean, how can my son be competing with a village riffraff? Mom, huh? I don't think Viola is someone that can be enticed with material things or money. That's part of the qualities I observed in her. And that's why I want her as a daughter-in-law. Mom. I will try to make it work. But if it doesn't work, I will let her be. I will look for someone else. So don't just give up. I mean, try and buy things for her. Use your money. Things that girls like, you know, maybe she will say yes. No, 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 no. She stepped out for a while to get something down the road. All right. Can I wait for her? Oh, please come in while I get you something cold to drink. Mom, don't bother yourself. I think let me drive around the village. I'll come back. Oh, by then she'll be back. Exactly. Oh, okay. 
But then again, do you know your way around the village? Actually, as I was coming, I saw one cool joint. Let me relax there. Okay. And then come back later. All oh, right. That would be great. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. And Mom, I, I got this for you. For me? Yes. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Mom. Hey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. May God replenish your pocket. Thank you, Ma. All right. Thank you, Ma. Okay. I'll be back. All right. See you then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, What exactly do you want me to tell you that I haven't already told you before? I mean, following me about is not fair. You may not have noticed that your grandma is very comfortable with me. They're fine. Why don't you go ahead and propose to her? She just might say yes. Come on, my love. It's you I want. I love you with everything I have. Please, give me a chance. That's all I'm asking for. Give me a chance to prove myself to you, please. The more I want to keep you as a friend, the more you push me away. You are the one pushing me away. Please, give me a chance to prove myself to you. Am I asking for too much? Please. Like your mother said, you're an international guy. And I can see it written all over you. So you should know exactly when a woman tells you that her heart belongs to someone else or she's committed to someone else. I know, but I have done underground checks. And the guy you're talking about, presently you're not flowing with him well. And do you think because of that I will just jump at every other guy who comes my way? You think it's good enough reason for you to just walk up to me to steal me away? Listen, I see you as a friend. And that's because your mother and my grandmother are very close and I hold my grandmother in high esteem. Don't change that. Don't, because we will not like what will happen. What? Wait. Are you not taking the things I bought for you? No, well, I thought I could accept a gift from a friend, but obviously I thought wrong. Now I know better. What a stubborn beauty. Fuck. <laughs> Samson, your suitor brought it for me. And you accepted it? Why not now? Ah. He offered me the present. I took it from him. Mama, but you know I would never say yes to him. You shouldn't have accepted that gift. But there was no request attached to the gift. So I don't see anything wrong with collecting the bag. I, I saw him room. on the road. Oh, really? And I made it clear to him that I would never go back on my words. <laughs> you need to be careful. You already know the situation between you and Clemson. I think you should think twice before you start sending Samson away. Mama, we're going to settle our differences. It's better you do that now. Eh? So you'll know your stand before you lose a good suitor. Open a Clemson Adaba. Samson Adaba. After all, both of them have sis to their names. Mama, I'm the one in charge. I'll handle this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The meat on the fire first. What should I do now? If not that Clemson is misbehaving, I wouldn't have been going through this. A situation he's supposed to handle like a man, he decides to back out and turn it against me. 
Is that how a man should behave? out here by this time. I couldn't sleep, so I came out for some fresh air. You couldn't sleep? Viola, what is bothering you? Confide in me. It's nothing, Mama. It's nothing. Nothing you said. Yes, Mama. I can't inform you, you okay? Just make sure you fuck up properly. What the hell are you doing here? Please calm down. Calm down? Well, that will really happen when you tell me you're not here with another fetish revolution. I'm only here so we can sort out our differences, that's all. Let us talk about the man you were with the other day. It's absolutely nothing, he's just an admirer and I don't have anything to do with him. I'm here so we can talk, please. I'll tell that to the bed. Please, leave my presence. Are you asking me to leave your house? Of course you should know I'm better off without you. Huh? You're saying these hurtful words to me because I am here to talk and sort out our differences? Get out of my house. Don't make me push you. Please, get out. Now. Because I will be leaving the country soon. Yes, I have no problem with that. I will surely miss you. But we manage without you. Did you just say miss me? I was thinking you were coming with me. Come on, mom. I'm a full grown man. Are you not saying it? Yes. Oh. I'm no longer that small boy you used to take everywhere you're going to. Whoa. If you say so. Mom, I know so. <laughs> okay, tell me. How are we going about your missus, right? Mom, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. I was considering someone before you came up with Viola. You remember? Of course I do, Ugonne. I know her very well. But she didn't fit in exactly in what you need in a wife. Mom, I can't remember telling you there's that thing I need in a wife. Oh, yeah, I know. But I know that Ugonne didn't fit in. Because you, you failed to marry her even after proposing to her. Mom, please, I don't want to discuss this any further. Please. I love Viola so much. Please. And I will do everything humanly possible to win her heart. Travel to your UK. By the time you return, I will give you good news. Okay. If you say so. Mom, I know so. Hmm. <laughs> this is why you came to my place today. I don't, my sister. I'm less busy. I decided to check on you. You try. Ah, this 
also in your pilling egusi. What happened? Is it not my mother? She gave me this work to do before she returns from the market. <laughs> Better for you. Me. I don't know how to peel a goose. <laughs> Lazy girl. Uh -uh. What else do you know how to do if not to eat? Obos on Nikki me. <laughs> well, wait. Have you heard from our friend lately? That one. Ever since the last time we saw her coming down from that car, I have not set my eyes on her again. Uh -uh. Honestly, I don't understand how. Eh? Well, let's just keep watching her. Hmm. Have you seen Clemson lately? It's, it's as if those two are no longer as close as they used to be. <laughs> it is obvious they are having issues. I mean, why would she confide in us? Are we not friends? Why would she be behaving like that? Are we not friends again? And they just forget about her. And whenever she's ready to talk to us, she will come and look for us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if I bring this, let me help you and peel. You, peel egusi. <laughs> anyway, I will allow you because we are cooking this egusi this evening. Uh -uh. What's that supposed to mean now? Nena, you will break the whole egusi. Anyway, even if you break them, I'll grind them after. So, peel. You are very stupid. I will not help you again. Onyala. No, 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 I'm not helping you again. Help yourself. You even break themselves. You are the chosen one because you only want to deliver the message. Do not think you can wish this away. We are friends, and friends do not betray each other. Finally, she is the one who betrayed me. I have lost my man, and she is not even doing anything about it. Adabubu. You know, say, I go die for your case, oh. I go carry you for my head, oh. <laughs> my word, I don't leave. Yo, yo, yo. Mom, Jueko. Afana. Why haven't I been seeing you lately? Eh, eh, baby, na hosu, no. Hi. Eh, Buka is a hard-working young man. Na kota. Ne, debe, for you. On kota, nko, eh, It's for you. Okay. Yes. That's a good one. Thank you. Um, before I forget, I noticed that my friend is having issues with Clemson. Do you have any idea what the problem is? Mm -mm. I, I don't. But, Adao, those two seem very much in love to be having issue. I think they're having one now. It's none of my business. You see, I'm not even very much close to that uh, Clemson of a guy. That guy is too proud and arrogant. He's too arrogant and pompous. And that's why I'm not close. So I don't know anything about them. Maybe... Or Batu. Batu is very much closer to him. Yes, he's very close to them. Clemson does not possess such qualities you just mentioned. Huh? Everybody knows he's a kind-hearted man and an easy-going fellow. Hey! How? Ada? How? How? Why am I suddenly beginning to have this feeling that you are falling for Clemson? How can I? He's already dating my friend, so... You know, I'm not. Ada, are you sure? I'm not. <sighs> and then let's leave Clemson and his relationship to be every man for his own burden. We should be concentrating on us. Ada, and Ebuka, Ebuka, and Ada, Ada, Bubu, Bubu, Ada, Ada, Bu. <laughs> eh, it's us. Hey, but you're not doing me well. 
Hmm? Ada, you've not said anything yet. You've not granted permission to my proposal. And it makes me begin to wonder what am I not doing well? Sh should I even do more? You know, I love you. I love you and I care for you so much. Do you know what you're asking me? Love. Hebuka, you want me to be your woman. Mm -hmm. You should know I need real time to think that over. I knew you were going to say this. And that I was expecting you to say this. <laughs> See, a real woman needs real time to think about real men like me. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Hey, but what I'm asking you is this. Whatever your answer would be, your decision, please don't hurt me because I love you. See it now. Look, just look. Look, you will see love. Look here. Look, see it's love. You sound as if I'm dangerous. Huh? I am an easygoing fellow. I'm just trying to be careful. Uh, careful is okay, but just say yes. See you later. And I see you soon. You are easy going and you are going. Just like that. Hey! How can I go? Hmm. Then you don't have was. Look at somebody I'm trying to help her life. Yeah? Ebuka Bukanjo is trying to woo you and you are here telling me easy going. If you like be hard going now, uh, you Gunne, what are you doing here? I'm aware that your mom has gone back to the UK. What has that got to do with you? I have told you, I have decided. Why are you pestering my life? Move on with your life. Something tells me that your mom has been the one creating the problem between us. Now that she's no longer in the country, can we decide as adults and ignite what we shared? Ugunne, there is nothing to ignite. Why not move on with your life? Why are you doing this to yourself? Can you possibly find anyone else that will love you the way I do? What are you trying to say? That I have no life without you. Now get out. I said leave! Get out! I said leave! So, how have you been? Uh, not too well. Wait. You didn't go to the supermarket. Um, I have an attendant now, so I can go there anytime I like. I'll soon be going there anyway. Oh, that's good. But I thought your woman helps you out. Anyway, where is she? Obviously, she's not here. Well, we we broke up. Ah, that, that is not possible. I mean, not with the kind of love both of you exhibit. Oh, my friend, everything is possible. Change is the only thing that is constant, bro. Look, I noticed for a while now you've not been well. Okay, what is going on? How do you mean? Everybody is saying it. The Clemson I know is happier than this. These days you are sad and withdrawn. My friend, stop all, this, stop all those imaginations, I'm fine. Ah, this one is not imagination, brother. Everybody is seeing it. Like I said, I'm perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, it happened over a month ago. I'm, I'm over it. I'm fine. Over a month? Yeah. Ah, brother, what happened now? I'd like to know what happened. Tell me. You will be shocked at my story. Honestly, I am disappointed at you. Why would you have such a pagan belief? As far as I'm concerned, that deity was destroyed many years ago. We can't go back to that era. That's why you have a duty to convince the youth. They need to embrace that era one more time. Do you have a proof? How can I convince a man who everyone knows is from Enuago that he's from Aki? 
it is the truth, my love. It is the truth. It is the why Yogugu has appeared to me and told me that the youth of Aki need to embrace her one more time. She calls it the embrace of life and that is the only thing that can restore greatness to this land. Enough of that rubbish! Enough of all this rubbish! Don't ever bring up this topic again around me. First you say she appeared to you in your dreams. Now she's appearing to you in real life. Don't make me believe you are you're, you're, you're spiritually possessed or something. But I am saying the truth. You need to listen to me. Listen, is the one you go has explained everything to me. I can tell you exactly what she said. She told me what happened. I do not want to hear tales from a goddess reportedly born years ago. Stop this nonsense right now. Now are you not shocked that such nonsense came from someone I wanted to make my wife? Wait, uh, let me get this correctly. You mean as a one paid Viola a visit and said this, and he never took it serious. Hmm. Glimpse. Take what serious? You of all people should know I don't take uh, things like that serious. I don't believe in them. As a matter of fact, it was the reason for our breakup. Ah, <sighs> guy. You just tell me you're joking with me or are you being serious? Of course I'm serious. Why, why, are, you, why are you acting like this? Are you alright? Now I know that you are the real enemy of our youth in this kingdom. What do you mean by that? What sort of stupid and senseless question is that? How can something this important come up in this kingdom and you kept it to yourself? Without letting anyone know, what kind of a leader are you, Clemson? Don't tell me you believe in deities too. <gasps> Guy, you don't have to believe in it. Look, whether you believe in it or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, we could have looked for a way, I mean, to move forward. Now I believe Chine Dun when he said uh, uh, something is wrong in this kingdom. <gasps> I don't blame you. Because you are successful, you don't want another person to succeed. Enough! Enough. Enough of all this. What has come over you? You have come over me, Clemson. You! Just don't worry, wait. By the time I tell everyone what you hid away from us, you will see what happens. Hmm? Don't worry. Uh, 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 uh. What have I done wrong? Never knew Clemson could do a thing like this, Papa. I'm back to my son. You see, the chair Okeke has been functioning as the priest of Obuku, even when there was no altar. Ezo Dumodu, in all the years he ruled, never went to Obuku. I am glad that this day finally came, Papa. I don't have to waste time on this. Eh? I need to call the youth for a meeting. Yes. And we will get Viola to explain everything in details to us. Ah. We don't have to waste time on this. Ah. I only came to brief you, Makandi Obudu, so that they will not ask, have you told your father? Ha. Oh, yeah. Hey, Abato. Why bothering yourself? When they asked the question, Tell them that you have discussed with your father, Okonkwo Ezazu, and I ordered you to proceed. Listen, Obatu. Aki is on the verge of transformation, in case you don't know. How is what I'm saying, eh? How can a good leader come across something this huge and keep it to himself? We hold it there, beggar. I don't want you to bring sentiment into this issue. What we should be talking about is the way forward, guys. I do not know Clemson to be a careless person. Clemson is someone that stands for what is right and for everybody. See, in this, in this case now, uh, I think we should involve the king. Um, I don't know for you guys, but to be frank, I don't understand you. Huh? We've not even heard from Clemson and we are here drawing conclusions. Who does that? Listen, Ebuka. Yeah. 
if you do not rise above sentiment today and raise like a normal human being, I'll slap you. Huh? Sentiment kill you there. How dare you slap me? You're not poor. I'm born and a bobo here now. If I said it and I'll say it again. Bim, bim, if, bim. if you do not stop all this thing, I will take this best now. This is how they fear you. Get up and do it now. Man, to be a gun. It's enough. It's enough now. It's enough now. It's enough It's enough now. It's enough now. It's enough now. It's enough guys. Listen. It's enough guys. We need to behave ourselves. Viola will be here any moment to address issues with us. So we need to put ourselves together before she comes here and see us as disorganized people. Bam! Idria! Idria! After this meeting, we need to buy lots of drink. Because, because I know everything. I know as the one I know. As the one who knows me, Munana one on one. But before I will proceed, before I will break it down, we get the potential. Okay, yes, me drink. Hey, that's why you. Listen, I'm prepared for all of you. Is it not a youth? I will slap you. Is it not a youth? If you look at me, I am very ready. For anybody that will stand against the drink, I will kick you. If you fight against it, you fight and whatever. You get to go. Mom, look at that guy. He's drunk. Look at you. Get the drink. <laughs> My fellow youth, you are blessed. Now go and buy yourself a phone now. Don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. I'll bring this guy down. Who can be down? I will just attack you. Try it. If I land you this blow, you will see yourself in your mother's home. If I give you this one, you will join the assassin. Are you sick? No. I called here to warn you to desist from this act. You're making everyone go mad with this, your, your revelations. So this is really why you called me here? You think it's not strong enough? Viola. Listen. Obatu was at my house today. I told him about your revelation because he asked why we're having problems. And he acted strange. I don't want you to keep making people believe what does not exist. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yes, you should be very ashamed of yourself. You called off our engagement. I came to your house to beg you and tell you that I missed us. And you pushed me away. Now you're calling me here to tell me this rubbish that you're saying. They're not rubbish, darling. It is you who's allowed your heart to wander for nothing. And you are the one who's not seeing things from the empirical point of view. Let me even ask you, are you truly a man? What sort of question is that? Of course, I'm a man. Then do the right thing. Save your people from anarchy, doom and backwardness. What is wrong with her? What brings you to my house this evening? Ah. Chalukwa? I think I've seen this face before. Yes. Mama, I am Okbatu. Ichie Okunku Ezazu's son. I've been here before with Clemson. Oh, I see. Uh, Clemson is your friend. Yes, Mama. Okay. So, what, may I help you? Why are you here? Mama, all is well. I came to see Viola for a brief discussion. Brief discussion? Mom, I came to see you for a brief discussion. You promised to come yesterday. What happened? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama. Yeah. If the youth of Aki have risen against you, it is your fault! Why would they rise up against me? No, tell me, why would they rise up against me? When we have different forms of rights and freedom in our constitution. Nobody has the right to force me to what I do not believe. And one day, one day, you will wake up and you will not see that hopeless constitution. 
On that day, you will realize that there is a wine of our key. Our own is a wine. It's mightier than that useless constitution. Listen, if it's him, I can't be having this conversation with you. Please, when you're done, you can use the door. One day, you will walk up to speak grammar. And your mouth will move open and close and nothing will come out. That very day, you will realize that our wife is the one. It's mightier than your English. And mightier than that your useless grammar. No sense to you. Look at you. Speaking English, that very day, you will become a baby. Be, be. How can you and your boyfriend keep this important information to yourself? I mean, it's no fault of mine. The message was significantly his to lead you guys to achieve this. I told him, but he refused. I want you to come and testify to the youths of this village so that we know how to go about this. I was scared to open up because I was afraid no one would believe me. Look, my dear, our lives depend on that revelation. You need to come and talk to them so that we'll know how to go about this. I'll handle the rest. What took you so long? Oh, it's nothing, nothing serious, Mom. I, um, he just came to inquire about something. Something like what? It's nothing serious, Mama. Don't worry yourself about it. You know, every time you say it's nothing serious, I have this feeling that you're hiding something very important from me. Mama, I'm not hiding anything from you. It's absolutely nothing. Don't worry your head about it. Let me go inside and get ready for my meeting. So, all this thing has been happening, and you couldn't come here to inform us earlier? I didn't have the courage. Besides, the message was clearly for Clemson. He was meant to inform the youth and act upon it. Then your selfish and stupid boyfriend decided to keep it to himself. Please, with all due respect, don't use those words on him. It's unfortunate that he just didn't believe what I said, that's all. I'm so happy you used the word unfortunate. Thank the gods. You mentioned unfortunate because that is exactly what he will be getting if he doesn't explain to us what happened. Please, please, can you stop, please? This is not why we are here. I said it, I said there is a problem. But nobody will believe me now. I mean, nobody. I'm not claiming in Wem Supermarket. Chinedi, please stop all this. Eh? I don't like the way you react to issues sometimes. How is he reacting? No, answer me. How is he reacting? The guy has a point. The secret of wealth was revealed to us and our so-called president hid it for himself. Aren't we supposed to be discussing this the right way? Guys, what we should be discussing right now is how to present this to the king. Just leave that one to me. Let us go straight to the king, eh? When we get there, I'll handle everything. What an irony of life. Someone we all have been wishing to be our own is actually our own. Say it again. Chief Polycap Okeke. The SLA Nuego of Enuago is actually from Aki. One of our late uncles traveled to Enuago to finish work. But don't worry, we'll bring him back. It's your Pompo. I have always known you as a traditionalist to the core, a disciplined one at that. Our people have always known you as someone that is deeply rooted into the customs and tradition of our land. I've invited you here so we can have a talk. Your Highness, I hope you are not flattering me. Please, go straight to the point. I, I am aware that you are aware of what is going on in this kingdom. What do you suggest that we do in a point like this? In your highness, as a, the custodian of our 
custom and tradition. And I think as the king you are, you're supposed to know the custom and tradition of our people. I know. You're right. But the deity in question, this deity that we're talking about, has long been destroyed, or should I rather say abolished, before I ascended the throne. That is where my worries are. That is where my problem is. And that is why I want you to guide me on this. It's okay. Mm. Ogugu is a deity of peace and unity with love for her children. But the people of Aki were misled by a common blind idiot who called himself a pastor. And he did not know what Ogugu represents. Before the deity was destroyed, our people, especially the young men, they used to take lead in terms of wealth and affluence. And our women also have peace of mind in their marriages. And there was never a case or issue of barrenness. But ever since the introduction of this, the whole thing brought harm to our people. So I heard. And I have been wondering what is going on. In my reign, this kingdom has refused to develop. Our youths are struggling on daily basis to survive. Where do we go from here? Um, Your Highness, you see, when we talk of stagnation, the case of Amadi will always come to mind. My friend, this is why you came to visit me today. Hope I am safe. You are sounding as if I don't usually visit you. I so much appreciate your coming. So how is your family, especially the kids? They are doing well, my sister. Uh, talking about family, what are you and your husband doing about this, your childlessness? Mama Ada, what will I do? We have tried all the means we know, yet nothing to show for it. And are you sure the problem is not from you? Not at all. Even my husband too is very okay. We believe that we will have our own child when the time is right. When will the time be right? Tell me, is it when all the villagers have started seeing you as a burning woman? Please, 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 don't say that to me again. Please, I beg you. You know I am not barren. Don't say that to me again. Calm down. Calm down. You have been married for years now. You got married before me. Look at me. I have three children already. What are you saying? Look, if the problem is not from you, then the problem is from your husband. How? If he's not the one, you could have gotten someone pregnant since. My husband loves me so much. He cannot do such a thing to me. Don't be deceived. Men cannot be trusted like that. Look at me, Mamanda. I am sick and tired of this whole thing. I have accepted my fate. Do not accept such fate. So what do you expect me to do? What do you suggest I do? What? Yes. If he cannot do it, then try someone else to know where the problem is coming from. That is abominable, you know that. What is abominable there? Is it not for you to get what you want? How are you, honey? Whenever I see you like this, 
it breaks my heart. I've told you severally not to worry about our childlessness. Why won't I worry? I need to carry my own child. I need to breastfeed the baby. I need a child to cry under this roof. And you're telling me not to worry. It's okay. I understand. God's time is the best. Now, let's go inside. Excuse is that? No, what kind of excuse? I thought my husband was the reason for our childlessness, so I decided to try someone else. What? You woman, did you listen to yourself at all? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I live with one every day. And you, young man. And I worry with that Hunana that your looking downwards will not prevent me from telling you. Because the frowning face of a he good will not prevent it from being dragged to the market when the need arises by the owner. Ma why we are in You know, bro, it is a You don't see any of these single single girls. To me, and that true. It is it is a married person. When you're mad, when you're mad, what do you have? Then you say, when you're ready, you're going to be running. Why are you looking downwards? <laughs> Oh, oh no, he is the handwork of the devil. Shut up. Oh no. What devil? What devil? It is you I'm seeing. Where is the devil? It is you, it is your handwork I'm seeing. What is the devil? Tell me I will break the devil's head. Oh no. Nyala. How do you mean? Are you encouraging him to go after youngest even? Which reasonable and responsible single lady will settle down with this idiot? Please, my elders. Now, will you shut up? Shut up! This is my verdict. For daring to desecrate the sanctity of this kingdom, I will expose both of you. Hey, hey! <laughs> for the full wrath of the law, Your Highness, I have spoken. Hey, shut up! I remember that better forgotten incident. The woman was buried and felt her husband was responsible. A friend of hers advised her to cheat on her husband to prove the point. Uh, Your Highness, all those things started happening after our people, the people of Aki, turned their back on Ogu. Originally in Aki, any woman who was childless will go to Ogu and be blessed with the fruit of the womb. But we lost all those things as a result of introduction of foreign gods which we followed. <sighs> it's your conquo. You have said a lot. According to the young lady that brought about this revelation, she said that Ezewanyo Gugu said the youth and the entire Aki kingdom must come back and embrace her. That brought to mind the question. How do we do this? And what does this exactly mean? Uh, Your Highness, it is very, very simple. All we need to do there is to put back the altar, which was long destroyed. By the time we put it in place, it's not going to cost us anything. Such good things 
should be maintained and kept and not to be destroyed. I shall build the altar. I will erect it. I am going to decorate it in a way that it will become so, so symbolic and it will be a good reference point to our future generation. That is what I will do. Yes, Your Highness, you have spoken well. That is exactly what we are going to do. Even the Europeans who brought the teachings that made our people abandon their ancestors did not abandon their own tradition. Uh, I think uh, we are going to rise as a people. But we must go back to the ways of the spirituality because spirituality is the master key to physical wealth. I must say that I appreciate this meeting, Ichio Kunkuo. Send words to all the relevant men in Aki. We have to move immediately. Okay, Your Majesty, I'm already on it. Clemson, is it true? I mean, all the allegations leveled against you, are they true? Hey, Your Majesty, <laughs> I was misunderstood. I didn't mean it that way. Clemson, keep quiet. Keep quiet and tell the king the truth. You intentionally eat this revelation from us. You want to be the only one that owns a supermarket while we remain on this level. It will not happen. We don't want you as our youth leader. That is what we told the king and that is what we are standing by. A period. Fine. Fine. Fine, Chinidu. If that is what you want, you can have the position. I know you've always had your eyes on it. You can have it. Chinedu, do you realize we are in the presence of His Majesty? We are in the presence of a good man. That would never hide the truth from us. What Clemson did eh, is abomination. In fact, more than abomination, murder. Clemson has murdered the future of the youth of Aki. And we don't want him as our youth leader. That is it. Stop using the word we, 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 we. Because you are all alone in this, your confrontation. Akam Adelia. That's we, 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 we. You know this. Keep quiet. Keep done, okay? Very well then. I want you all to go back and settle these amongst yourselves. But before then, I want you to know that Clemson, as in no small measure, served this very kingdom. He has put in so much effort. As a man, he has tried his best. He has done all he could to make sure that there is peace in this kingdom. It will be very wrong for us to rise up suddenly and see him as evil. I quite agree with you that he made a mistake. But we too cannot be justified in any way to kill him because of this. Once again, I want us to go back and settle this amicably. Yes. His Majesty has spoken well. He has said it all. The only aspect I fought him a little bit is that a man of Aki will open his mouth to say that he is not interested in things that has to do with the gods and the goddess. And that is why I am so bothered as a new of this kingdom. However, I, I will let us allow him a second chance. You should go home. Settle this matter. Iwe. Iwe. From what has just happened, it is very obvious that the youth are angry. And I do not want this to escalate more than this. I want you to go and talk to the youth, plead with them that they should not gang up against the poor boy. Your Majesty, honestly, from what I saw, it is Chinedu, only Chinedu, that has vehemently decided to rope Clemson's head into the matter. Because there's nothing he can do ordinarily as an individual. But my main concern is how do we go about his instructions given to us by his one new Google? I quite agree with you, but the youth must calm down first before we send words to the man of Enuago. 
and we have to start the process immediately. Better, but then, in accordance with the traditions of our key, we will not just rely on the anger being exhibited by this youth. We have to make a broader consultation spiritually. Honestly, Clemson, I am tired of this. I, I don't have the strength for this at all. I think you need to take your problems elsewhere. You must have the strength, though. You must have the strength because you started this whole madness. How can you create lies and expect me to act on them? Now you've turned everyone against me. How can you call them lies? How really can you call them lies? Despite everything playing out in front of you, you still call them lies? Of course they are lies. Yes, they are lies. Or possibly a figment of your imagination and now they are trying to ruin me. You are the one ruining yourself. It's your stubbornness that will ruin you. Okay. What's going on here? What's the argument for? Mama. Can you for? Mama, it's your daughter. Viola and a stupid revelation and now the whole thing is trying to ruin me. Watch your talk. What exactly is going on? Mama, Viola here came to me with tales of his and why Yobugo, giving her revelations. Yes, I, this, this, this is something I never believed. And now the whole thing is trying to ruin me. Wait, did you just say as a one you? Mama, they are all lies, fabricated by her. I have told her to stop this thing, but she wouldn't stop. Because it is the truth. They are no lies. I have told you this with the love of my heart, from the depth of my heart, and you have refused to listen. <laughs> Let it be known that if you're finally crippled, you are the cause. Mama, you see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about. Fiola have lost, she's gone insane. Mama, but please explain to me what is it all about? Well, what's going on? Kedi, for what is it? Well, Mama, nothing's going on. Fiola has gone fetish. Yes, she's now an apostle of the destroyed goddess. She has to leave me out of it. Huh? She has to leave me out Tell of this. Clemson! 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 I don't understand what you're saying. Clemson! What's going on here? Mommy. Are you not surprised that it's listing me? The verse that will continue to drum it. Drum it into your ear until you hear it. And what nonsense are you drumming into my ear? By the way, how did you know I was here? I know you will not understand. But I know everything that is happening in our kingdom. All of you gathered together. Conspired together to deny me position. But as a one in your Google has given me a position that is mightier, better than all your hopeless and useless positions. Mbiala! Are you trying to tell me that your constant visiting and monitoring has something to do with me? Destroyed deity. Stupid! 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 They destroyed themselves and not as a one of Let me ask you, how can they even destroy the Almighty? The Almighty as a one of They cannot! You see that Viola? She is the only thing you have in this entire life. She is the only valuable thing you have. You see that your hopeless business uh, supermarket that you boast of? You see? One. It's gone. No sense to you. What are they planning? To set my business on fire because of you? That is not the topic, stupid. I know you will never understand. What is wrong with this man? You will never understand it because the topic is not about your business. If you lose this particular person, your life is gone. But if you see that your business, you can lose the business and gain this particular viola. Your life is saved. So you think I will not tell you the truth? Abandon every other thing and hug viola. And if you lose it, you are gone. No sense. Is it because of why? Okay, you think I will not tell you the truth, eh? You think I will not tell you the truth because of that hopeless cheap drink that you normally give me every week? You see, Otto. Every author that is sweating will strike you and your mouth. Otto, not your wagon and that pot. No sense to you. Hopeless you. Useless. Albinotic. Idiot. In fact, don't allow me to call you for me. Because you are behaving like a toro toro. No sense to you. Hopeless.
Listen, to say I am disappointed in you, it's an understatement. I mean, how could you do this to me? I'm sorry, Mother. The thing is, all the while you were asking me if everything was okay, I just could not bring myself to open up to you. I didn't have the confidence to open up to you. I am not everyone. I'm your grandmother. I should understand you better. You left your father's house to stay with me because I believe we have a special bond. But you never confided in me. Even when you, you, you broke up with Clem, you still didn't tell me anything. Eh? When I asked you why you were inquiring about um, Ogugu, you told me nothing, mother. The message was for him to execute. And since Clemson didn't believe me, I didn't think anyone would believe me. I'm sorry. Wait. Am I the no one? You're referring to me as somebody, right? I am your grandmother. I am in a better position to understand you more than any other person. Mother, I was just being careful not to go against the instructions. That's the reason you should have confided in me in the first place. All this thing, all, all that is happening, I wouldn't have gotten to this extent. Eh? It's what you need, Denny. I'm sorry, Mother. I'm sorry, I just wasn't thinking straight. Don't, don't look at me with those eyes. Robert, are you sure you're not being too hard on your friend, Clemson? Considering what he did, I don't think so. How can somebody know the solution to a major problem and he kept it to himself? Who does that? I've always found myself defending him. But when you look at it critically, guy, I feel so bad. My dad, you are the only one Clemson has. If you finally turn your back on him, he might commit suicide. Is that how you want your friend to end? You see it? Many people have said many things about him. I've always found myself defending this guy. Eh? But now I'm beginning to believe what all those people have been saying. Come off it, Abed. Come off it. I, I, okay, I understand that he made a mistake by not letting us know. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't want our progress. Now, let me ask you something. Since he has been your friend, have you ever noticed him having all those uh, evil characters or something? See, eh? Yeah. Baba. At this point, I don't believe anybody. I don't trust anybody. See, my guy, uh, what I'm suggesting is that we should forget about all these things. Let's just forget about it. Mm. Let us just focus on how to get this secret world. Instead of talking about what uh, Clemson should have done that he did not do. I know what I'm saying to. Let us focus on that direction. That is the most important something to do now. That's the most important thing to do. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, I think we should go to Clemson's house and uh, see him. No, but I will skip. I have somewhere else to go. Mm -hmm. I have somewhere else to go. Mm -hmm. We'll see later. I don't know what I'm saying. You, know, you should take all these things easy. Baba. You should take these things easy. We'll catch up later. No, Allah. Yeah, now. Please, sit down. Right. <sighs> Thank you. Well, you don't have to blame anyone for the action. Okay? And another thing is... Uh, I want you to come out open and apologize to your guys. It's very, very important. It's all right. I will, I will do just that. It's just that I'm pained. And after all my contributions towards the betterment of this kingdom, all I have sacrificed, they still think I am the problem of this kingdom. It's so painful. I understand what you mean, but you don't have to be because that is the situation at hand. Understand? But. I want us to forget about whatever that happened. Understand? Let us forget about all these things and walk towards making peace. It's very, very important. I have spoken to Abato. He is very, very upset with you. But I made him see reasons. And I'm sure by now he doesn't hold any grudges against you. So you need to see him also, at least to make peace. It's very, very important. No problem. I'll, I'll do just that. Thank you very much for for everything. Thank you very, very much. Hmm? I'm very grateful. Okay. And uh, one more thing. 
Clemson, I want you to reconcile with the woman. See, the, the story flying around is not good at all. So you need to reconcile with her. But I don't wish you to have that discussion. Okay, if you don't want to have the conversation, it's good, but I seriously want you to give it a thought. Noted. Once again, thank you very much for coming. I'm very grateful, huh? Thank, thank you. you very much. So what do I what do I offer you? Five million. For me. For you. Did you count the zeros? Of course, it's five million. It's in my account. Zero, 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 zero. zero you zero, counted zero. it. Oh yes. Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> five million. My love. Yes, five million. 